let me check whether I have done any configuration. This is my routing table. This is my directly connected. 12 network is directly connected. Okay, you can see it here. C, C is directly connected. You can see here 12.0.0.0 slash 24 is directly connected and through interfaces Ethernet 0 by 0. Now we have another network that is 23.0.0.0 via 12.0.0.2 now this is my next hop right by seeing this my router will understand that if i want to go to 23 network first i should reach 12.2 if i hand over these packets to 12.2 mm -hmm. i'm done with my responsibility mm -hmm. so, uh, that it will give whatever the packets it got for this network 23.0.0.0 Whatever the packets with this network ID, it will give all that packets to 12.2. This will be the next stop. If it is not there, now it knows about 23.0.0.0. But to whom should I forward this? You know about John, but you don't know where is he. How will you deliver the parcel? The same thing, right? So here the metric is zero. Why? Because it is statically given, right? So this is a value metric, which tells which is the best route, which is the best route. Here I am giving. I have given only one route, only one route. So it is showing zero, right? If you are having multiple routes to the same destination to the 23 network now my router has through this interface through this interface through this interface through all this interface it has route to reach the 23 network right now it will now every route will have one specific metric value every route will have specific metric value right that again that is again dependent on the protocols routing protocols right so based on this value it will decide which is the best path which is the best path and the base and the complete data will be forwarded through that best path that is next stop and metric In routing, what happens to the packet? These are my routers. These are my routers. And this is my source. My laptop has to communicate with this server. Right? What will my laptop do? What will my these routers do? And what will my and how these my server where this router will come to know about this device right can you see the topology it's what well, just see the networks just see the networks that is 1.1.1.0 slash 24 it is my network okay so 1.1.1.254 is my Interface IP, router interface IP, 1.1.1.1 is my laptop IP. Okay, so this is my MAC address AA, 
and BB is my MAC address of this interface, right? Now my laptop will be given with the default gateway as 1.1.1.254, right? Now my laptop will be and you can see the MAC address here 1.2.1.254, 1.2.1.253, CCDD. Right? You just have the network, have an idea of the network. Right? C. I need to send a packet to 1.4.1.1. Right? Yeah, this is a server. It has to reach this device. My laptop. Right? First, whenever I gave the command for suppose thing that I need to ping the 1.4.1.1. I'm pinging through my laptop. Right? As soon as I give my command ping 1.4.1.1. I give this command 1.4.1.1 ping. Immediately, my device laptop will check whether 1.4.1.1 is in its network or it is out of the network. How it does an operation? Have we discussed an and operation? Like it will convert the, the it will convert. This 1.4.1.1 IP into binary and it will take the subnet mask of the laptop. It will take the subnet mask of the laptop. What are the subnet mask we define? It takes that and again it will convert that into binary. Okay. So for suppose thing this is a 1.4.1.1, right? 00000001 okay and my subnet mask will be 255.255.255.0 okay so 255 all will be ones okay how do you like this So my source IP is 1.1.1.1 and my subnet mask will be 255.255.255.0. Destination IP will be 1.4.1.1. Right? This is the information I know. Now I want to know whether this IP is in my network or not. How will I know? I will convert this into binary. 0000001. One. Dot 4, right? 00000100. Right? 0000 Again the same 0000001. One dot four dot one dot one. Okay. Now this is my subnet mask. Always remember end operation is done with the device subnet mask, not with the destination subnet mask. Device subnet mask. Right. So 255, 255 in the sense, all will be ones. Right. One 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 one. one. Same here one 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 and all will be zeros. End operation is 0 and 0 value will be 0. 0 and 1 value will be 0. 
1 and 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, right? So, so like 0, 1, 0, all will be zeros, except the last one, 1, dot, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. And all will be zeros. Right? Now, again, on, on adding these, converting this into, again, numeric form will get 1 dot, 4 dot, 1 dot, 0. Right? But what is the network ID of this source? It is 1 dot, 1 dot, 1 dot, 0. How it came to know again it will do the same thing it will convert this ip into binary this subnet mask into this end operation again it will come to know 1.1.1.0 1.1.1.0 1.4.1.0 these are different right by this pc will come to know that the destination is not in its network now it has to send the packet c that address is not in my network. Who should I direct my Ethernet frame to? That is my default gateway. Right? If it is not in my network, I will send the packet to my default gateway. Right? If it is in my network, I will directly send the packet to my destination. Okay? So, we have seen our address resolution protocol it will generate an app request in order to know his mac address why why because if a if a packet has to if a packet has to go out from the device it needs four details that is source ip source destination ip source mac destination mac right now it has source ip destination ip source mac but where is destination mac doesn't know in order to know that it will Send the app request, app reply will come. Right? 